Hey guys, welcome back to Day Usex. Ooh, choo choo pew. Set the fireworks. It's episode two. That that marks that marks the second episode, yeah, meaning it marks the second episode, meaning we haven't quit the series. You're welcome. Wink. So yeah, um, welcome say you're welcome back Matthew. to Day Usex. What do you mean? Almost say you're welcome Good. Matthew. You to to yeah, you're welcome to Matthew. Nightmare. He's the only one who's never chopper. managed to quit a series on the channel. He sticks with it, even if it's shit. Actually, we well, haven't Matthew experienced shit with Matthew yet. Good. So I know who you're while, talking yeah. about. We'll just wait. I've quit Come several series, mate. Don't I know it? I've quit. I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance. Uh, five minutes, Freddy's. I quit. Well, Six for a long time, I quit Bloodborne. Time come back from the dead. You sure you're Bloodborne was a game I quit for a while. It's such an unfair thing. Oh thing. my god, Matthew. Just be nice. Here, we're gonna play nice guy. Roger that. We're gonna the play nice guy, Jensen. With the DPD's so yeah. Team. Oh, by the way, I looked the into the, uh, the NES play. classic you all set here? system because the sooner that we had a conversation about. Everyone. Yeah. You see that? You saw it? I think we already talked about this. So, me, just stay ready, man. <laughs> just pay attention. Right. You don't right. need to look at me well, while I'm talking. Everyone. So, uh, thing is here, right? I looked at the NES Classic, so it's you turn not, away from the <laughs> It's not gonna, don't worry about it. So I looked into the NES Classic, and it's not actually that oh, bad. Matt, don't blame Matthew, he's being polite. He's looking into people's eyes instead of... True. I'm sorry, Matthew, I'm an asshole. So, um, I look... I hate that guy. It's the same guy, I swear to God, because it's always that noise at the end. It's so annoying. So, I looked into it. It... Can anyone guess how much it costs? Please give me a price range on how much you think it costs. Um, Come on. Close. It's sixty. I don't want the crowd you go it costs in. sixty dollars. That means every game on there costs two dollars each. So what am I looking but at? But it doesn't guys? because you want to know why? So because they're, they're about a dollar each, and thirty dollars is for the actual like system. Now, now this is something that, is today, for some reason, it links to your Wii U, and it takes the games you bought, NES classic games like the NES like emulated games, and it downloads them onto. Oh, so you can play. I know you and Megan. Yes, and it comes with games installed. Goes um, what games Sanders. were installed actually That's surprised me because I thought they were going to be He's all, like, not crap, so can't be but I thought they were going to be Nintendo us, only games. But he did know exactly how to get inside our it plan. comes with, right. uh, so Zelda, this? Zelda 2, uh, Balloon Fight, out until uh, Donkey it. Kong, as far as rules um, of engagement Castlevania 1 and 2, uh, Final Fantasy 1, uh, uh, what are you doing, Matthew? You want to start a firefight? You want to be stealthy? Ah, oh, I I don't know. That's hard because <laughs> that uh, stealth. Okay, then pick non-lethal. Oh, man. So, oh, so stealth. it comes with Star Tropics. Star Trek. No, Star Tropics. Um, it's like a um. Uh, can you just pick your? I don't know what you're. Just saying. go non-lethal. Play Is stealth games, idea? right? Yeah, why not? I feel like I'm gonna fail. Just though. screw it. So, I'm gonna lethal after. No, you can pick up guns and stuff. He, it just, just matters what he starts you off with. You get like a tranquilizer instead of like. You get a sniper you rifle tranquilizer like and you get the uh, gun tr stun hallways. tranquilizer. But the labs themselves are yeah. Open. Instead, you would have gotten an assault rifle and a pistol. So, do you want something you can use for So, um, it comes with Star Tropics. And it comes. What disappointed me is that, uh. Um. Oh, uh, tranquilizer Give rifle, or yeah. Um, what, <laughs> what surprised me is the honestly the games that came with it. Mega Man 2's on there. Not Mega Man 1, just Mega Man 2. Mega Man 2's the only one that made it. I was like, that was a good choice. Like, if I would have picked a game, you should have put on there. It was definitely Mega Man 2. Out of all the Mega Man games, it was Mega Man 2. Um, Star Tropics, which honestly, I, I as far as I know, yeah, I know. I want. Uh, as far as I know, Star Tropics is kind of hard to get. It's quite expensive as like an NES game. And I think sure they're quite rare. The done right. So once it becomes digital, it's not well, I think it's already digital is the thing. And plus, like, 
I'm glad they're doing this. I'm glad they're doing this because... I'm glad they're doing this because that means they might do a, um, a SNES one and, like, an N64 one. Which would be pretty cool because, honestly, not only... First of all, I want to play NES games. I want to play NES and SNES games, but I don't want to pay the fucking price of the cartridges. The cartridges are, like, fucking expensive as shit. I was looking into Dragon, Dragon Warrior. Now, this is on eBay. I, I'm not a big, like... I don't know how... If you ask me how, like, these fucking things work, I would never be able to tell you how NES games, like, go up and down and whatever shit, where to buy them, blah, blah, blah. But I looked up Dragon Warrior because I was interested in getting Dragon Warrior 1 through 4. And motherfuckers were selling those shit at $40 for Dragon Warrior 1. We have an employee when, hopefully, if I buy this, I can just get fucking Dragon so Warrior on there for like $2 that's emulated. I'm not looking to have like a fucking... Like, I would enjoy having a physical collection of cards, but the problem is, like, yeah, what, what kind of pisses me off, right, is when people buy... People don't buy cartridges to play them. They buy them to be all like, hey, look what I have. I confused as well. Yeah, do I, I have a train? Do you want to be the guy that yeah. owns a digital game or a physical copy? I just want to play it. Are you sleeping? And I mean, it'd be cool. Oh. As, uh -huh. as per se, yeah, but listen to me. Listen to, listen to what I'm trying to say, though. Yeah, you can pick that up. I I like collecting physical things. As, you, as I have fucking physical, like, I have, the ch I have chibis that I put up on a shelf. I have uh, fucking uh, games and cases. I have fucking Dragon Ball Z Season fucking 5 in a case on Blu-ray. It's just, I like collecting things. Sure, I don't have a lot of shit that I collect, plus I have like Final Fantasy and stuff. I'm missing a few things on this shelf. But I like collecting physical objects. But if I can't afford that physical object because it's fucking $200, all right, let me th tell me this. If someone was selling Zelda One, two hundred dollars, is that worth it more to you than to just get this small little NES thing that you can plug in and enjoy whenever you want, rather than paying two hundred dollars? I'm not saying Zelda's two hundred dollars. I think it runs to about twenty bucks, something like that. Twenty, twelve to twelve to twenty dollars. I'd rather own a physical copy of a game, so I have to say, pay the two. Oh my! You're gonna pay two hundred dollars. Well, what's the point in having everything, like, digitally? Oh my fucking word, I'm not saying... There's no point. You're, you're the kind of guy that pisses me off, though. Because I guarantee you, you pay that $200, you're not going to touch Zelda. You're going to let it sit there and collect dust. Okay, but I still got it. It's like those people who go on fucking, like, these NES buying sprees, right? And they fucking buy crappy games. They buy really crappy games just to be all like, hey, okay, okay, Marky, I own it. Marky. Like, you know those Bible games Marky. on on NES? Marky. People buy those Marky. just to say, I have it. Marky, you don't have to clearly point someone out. What? Just because you don't like Pac-Man <laughs> doesn't mean anything. I don't like okay. Pac-Man. No, you don't need Yeah, to. I know he owns Pac-Man. I think he paid way too much for it as well. Calm down. So, fucking... You, you you buy these games you don't play, and what's the fucking point? Just to, just to be a big dick, like a big dick guy, you have to show how big your dick is. Be all like, hey, look at my NES collection, I have over 700 games that I don't play. I, could, I would want to collect games, and I'm not saying if you collect oh, games- Oh, and you had all of them, and then someone, and like, someone would be like, come over to your house and they'd be like, whoa, you have all these games? And you're yeah, like, yeah, I well, do. Well, no, that's not what I'm saying. Yeah, I should probably clarify this before anyone gets offended. It's pretty I hate, much the same thing as being like, hey, I have a bunch of these NES games no, in my house. No, I hate, I hate when people, when people buy games and then they fucking start bragging about it. That's what pisses me off. As soon as someone's all like, cool, if you collected every single fucking NES game or SNES game that came out, 
cool. That's neat. That's a neat thing. That's a conversation starter, first of all. But if you collect them just to be a douche and say, I have them, I guarantee you there's some dude in the world, there's some rich motherfucker who has, like, every SNES game and every NES game, and he leaves them there. And then when someone, someone's all like, he's all like, oh yeah, I have a complete SNES collection. I have a complete Super Nintendo collection. Are you jealous? Are you jealous? I have a complete NES collection. Are you jealous? That's the kind of guys. And then you got the guys who go on, like, fucking Facebook and be all like, oh, check out my, uh, check out my game collection. Pretty rad, right? It's all like, no. No, it's not rad, man. <laughs> uh, I'm not impressed. Actually, I'm impressed, actually. I shouldn't lie. Uh, if you have, like, a shitload of, like, NES games and stuff, I'm impressed. But I wouldn't collect games I don't play. I would collect games... Honestly, I would collect Final Fantasy. I would collect Dragon's Quest. Zelda. Zelda 1 and 2. Which I don't know why people don't like Zelda 2. I fucking love Zelda 2. I don't get people's... Like, for a long time, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like... People, people would be all like, man, you fucking Zelda 2 sucks, and I'd be like, yeah, Zelda 2 does suck. And then I played it, and it's fucking fun. I don't know why people don't like it. So, honestly, it's the same way, uh, Castlevania 2. Okay, I just really tried to shout You know you can choke them out, right? Oh, I can. <laughs> yeah, you can walk up behind them and choke them out. Matthew, you should have been yeah, here when we were recording earlier. We recorded... So much. Two episodes of Hearthstone. And no, one episode of Hearthstone, one Joshua. One episode of Overwatch. Stone gun darts. I would have liked to wait until Matthew woke up to play it for him. Matthew, to play someone saw you, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Yeah. Take out the pistol. You're gonna be lethal, man. Oh, are you just gonna go completely non-lethal? I don't think that's possible now, man. Press Q, yeah. Oh. <sighs> so yeah, I think this um I think this NES thing is a cool idea. I like it. I think it's neat. I think they should continue to do it. It looks cool. I just don't understand how it's gonna work for a while because uh, apparently, again, as I said, you can get games off here. No, Joshua, why would they pull production like that? That's so dumb. That is so dumb. They would never do that. That's that's honestly a waste of their time. I understand people like. Matthew, is that a tranquilizer sniper? Or did you just kill those people? They're tranquilizers. Oh, okay, Joshua. Talking to the guy who every time he wants to get a game, you're all like, it's easier just to get digital, man. Every single time we go to buy a game, you're all like, we were going to buy Monster Hunter 4. Then you're all like, it'd be easier if we just got. No, it was Generations. I wanted to get Generations. And you're all like, yeah, I just get the download version. There's no point in getting the physical. I don't want to wait. Hey Joshua, guess what? You can buy the $60 Nintendo thing and then you don't have to wait because it's all digital. Right? Yeah, but... You fucking... Hey, no, there's not. So, a guy putting up an argument for physical copies when he... He, like, shoehorns in the... The digital. You would, honestly, for it's convenience... It's one thing. For convenience sake, you would rather go digital, would it's you not? one thing. Joshua, Last Guardian comes out tomorrow. Would you rather get it digitally or run all the way to the store or order it on Amazon and wait for it to come no, out? No, I'd get the physical copy. No, you I wouldn't. Don't lie. <laughs> Don't lie. You would get... That's one thing. You would get the digital. And that's Monster Hunter. I'd get digital for Monster Hunter. That makes no sense. It's, a video. it's the same as anything else, like physical or digital. Yes, but there's a difference. No, there isn't. Yes, it is. Piece of crap. You don't have to lie. I know you'd get digital. That's how you are. Honestly, if you want, if you want me to be honest, I would rather get for time's sake. I would rather get digital. For time's sake, like I want to play a video game right now. Why do you think I have like so many games on Steam? Hey, all They're right. digital. They're wanna, easy to make use. This clear right now, Marky. If you have a game. On your shelf. Yeah. Perfectly spotless. Perfect. Looks great. Yeah. And uh, then you have my PS4 games and my PS3 games. All the Which... Xbox games are trash because people take them. You know, Pit. Okay, this is this is a conversation I want to have with someone. Don't don't. No, 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 no. All right, no, no. Someone's... Before we start this, you just said your PS4 games are spotless. Yeah. 
Marky doesn't play those games. I'm going to make that clear right now, guys. Can he I... doesn't play. He has Resident Evil Revelations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can, can he has we point Grand out? Theft Auto V, can we point which out? he owns on Steam. Exa well, no, I don't own it on Steam. And he has Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Yeah, see, these That's are the games. That's why his games are spotless. These are the games. Well, fuck you for five seconds. Wait. So... My games are spot- my PS4 games are spotless and my PS3 games are spotless, and I will tell you this exactly why. Joshua is right. My PS4 games are spotless because I don't think anyone plays them. I played Revelations with Matthew. Guess what? Guess how much I paid for Revelations, Joshua? Five like, six dollars. Nice. It was six dollars, man. So, I played Re Revelations with Matthew, if you want to watch it. <laughs> Somewhere, go click on the playlist. Um, I, I mean, it's I didn't. Me we, and Matthew said don't. Yeah. Me and Matthew enjoyed it at the beginning, but then it sucked towards the end really bad. Um, oh yeah, because I was at the no, end. No, it was just the you game. I mean, I didn't mind running around as a kid, pointing stuff at stuff. It was pretty fun, mm -hmm. but um, and I have Call of Duty, which I absolutely despise. You never shoot me, Barry. <laughs> Call of Duty, which I absolutely despise. I, I don't Dumbest understand. I don't understand why people like Call of Duty. It just it, it eludes me, honestly. But then again, some people don't like games I like, so fuck me. Um, Jeez, don't ever say that again. So uh, you're using that term very loosely. <laughs> okay, so you said fudge me for it, fudge you for five seconds. <laughs> don't ever use that again. I was telling you shut up, but it's fine. Uh, uh, honestly, Joshua, it's like it's that wording thing where certain words don't mean what they used to, but I mean it's fine. So, um, uh, great, you got me off track. Yeah, my PS4 games and my PS3 games. PS4 games aren't touched, and my PS3 games aren't touched, and they're in good condition. And I will tell you exactly why. Because I, no one else owns a PS3, and no one else owns a PS4. Wait, that Hence, PS4 is my. Mining your well, yeah, I know, but hence being, hence being, we, I don't, I don't let people touch because people don't have the consoles, so people don't touch my games. Uh -huh. I have my, I have Final Fantasy IX. I just tried to unlock the assembly as, door, as it is, and it's, oh, well, it's in decent condition. I. I had someone hold on to it for me, and it's uh, cracked. Part of it's cracked now, which I'm pretty pissy about. Um, my PS3 games, I have Kingdom Hearts. Uh, and they're all in good condition. Now, no, every single Xbox 360 game I have, the case is either broken, uh, the plastic's ripped up. Trust me, and if anyone's watching, if anyone's watching this right now, and you, you're the... <coughs> Final Fantasy XI case, perfect condition. Yeah, it's because no one plays it. So if now this is people know condition. what I'm talking about, if you are the older one in your family, and you have younger brothers, and people know what I'm talking about, as soon as they touch your shit, it gets fucked. Your shit gets fucked, and there's nothing you can do about it. No, nothing. You and, and you want to know what happens? You want to know what happens? This Ladies is and gentlemen, completely fine case, but I don't know where you're. Thinking. What is this? Batman. Oh yeah, paid like two dollars for that. So, and I like Batman. You see, I, I I'm the good one. So you you notice the cover's missing, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know how that. So Call of Duty Ghosts. Ladies and gentlemen, that game was bad. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I don't think any Call of Duty player likes that. They're bitching about the new one too, and they haven't even played it. I mean, Battlefield Three is. Just put those fucking back. Okay. Pay attention to the fucking video, man. Also, Halo's and Halo 4's in good condition. I'm just proving you wrong. No, you're not, because literally most of those cases are destroyed. You see the Battlefield one? It's fucking cracked, man. Did you see the Halo one? And I let you use my Wii U and look at the Wii U games. Fucking That's broken. Not... You're right, the Wii U isn't yours. <laughs> I let you use it. And, and most of this shit's broken. It's not. I, if I don't own it, then it's not. So, essentially, people know what I'm talking about. Uh. Oh, no. Well, that's bad. Now I can feel it. it Anyone who is an older sibling will understand what I'm bitching about when I talk about people using my games and then not taking care of them. Because that's what happens, boys. 
and girls. If you're an older girl, I'm sure you play video games. I'm sure your little sister or brother borrows them and you just, you want to punch them in the face. So like, hey, fucking broke my game, you piece of shit. And then next thing you know, your mom finds a dead, your dead little brother, like lying on the ground with a copy of like Final Fantasy VI in his hand that he smashed. That's what happens. Yeah. Well, you hear about that person? PS4. Actually, I'm not going to talk about that. I was I was about to bring up something probably very controversial. I was going to talk about Pokemon Go for a second. It's actually quite an upsetting story. Um, did you know that a little kid got hit by a bus because he was playing Pokemon Go? Did you see yeah, that? That's no, fucked up. I, I didn't look into that. I saw it. I, didn't I already look knew into that it. was going to happen. Well, I mean, I'm not going to make fun of it because that'd be an asshole move. But yes, I knew this was going to happen, and it and did they're happen. They're getting sued. Yeah. Uh, are they getting sued? They're probably going to get sued, Marky. You make a game where you have to cross roads to catch Pokemon. So yeah, uh, unfortunately, you know? a child was hit by a car. I think he's. F I don't. I don't want to say he's fine, but he's in the hospital. I'll tell you that much. Um. So to the people who made Pokemon Go. You're fucking dumb, <laughs> first of all. Uh, why the fuck? First, uh, these things, right? In a world where people already look at their phones 24-7. No, 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 no. You make a that's, game that's not Pokemon my problem. No, because Pokemon Go... The thing I, ha I like about Pokemon Go is it gets people to go outside. It gets people to walk around and go outside. Well, yeah. it, go ahead, condemn it all you want, but that's what it is. So, I like the idea of it, and I think it's neat. But why in certain places do you have Pokemon? Why would there be a Pokemon in the middle of the road? That is stupid. That is dumb. I understand they probably well, have- there's probably a Pokemon on the other side of the road. So yes, unfortunately these things do happen. And unfortunately I think the people who made Pokemon Go are gonna be sued. Plus I'm sick of seeing the Pokemon Go things on YouTube, it's really annoying. <laughs> I, I went on the front page of YouTube and it's all like, Let's play Pokemon Go and I'm all like, how? How do you- <laughs> How do you do a Let's Play Pokemon Go? It's actually pretty easy, I have a washer. Have you really? Yeah, but it's people you know. It, what do they wear? A GoPro? And then it's all like, oh, I got caught a Pokemon. Uh, like, well, Marky, I don't get it. It's three. People. And then I saw, I saw a video people today. People probably know who I'm talking about. It's three people, Mark. I saw, I saw a video. I so saw. They were, they were recording the guy. Cool, cool. So I saw. They had a camera. I saw a video, and people are all like, "What we want to see, done with Pokemon Go?" And I'm all like, is, "Why is this?" Is this a phenomenon I didn't catch on to? I... Is this, like, something I'm never gonna get? Am I too Have old? Have you played it yet? What? Have you played it yet? Pokemon Go? Yeah. No, because the I don't want to go outside and walk around the neighborhood. The addiction hasn't started yet. I'm gonna get, like, shot. I'm scared of this neighborhood. People here are crazy. Actually, it's mostly old people. Yeah. <laughs> Who mow their lawns every fucking day. Actually, it's not even them, it's some douchebag, right? Who comes over and fucking, they pay him to mow their lawn. I thought you paid kids to mow lawns for like 25 cents. Probably don't have any grandkids. Or it's... their grandkids are like... You rebels. can do it, I believe in you. But I don't know okay. This is the lamest puzzle ever. It's actually really cool, I like it. Oh, we have to end it, Matthew. Pause it, you son of a bitch. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.